And welcome everybody to the Super Seal Stadium in Hamilton for today's Scottish Women's Premier League fixture between Hamilton Ackies and Stirling University. This will be an interesting game today because Hamilton have secured three points last week against a fine victory against Aberdeen and Stirling University having a free week their last game ending in a 2-2 draw with Spartans. So today in the lineup for Hamilton we have Elaine Fleming in goals as the captain of a back four of Megan Quinn, Danny Connolly, Jade Lindsay and Amy Lindsay. The three in midfield are Emma Lyons, Amy Anderson and new signing Cody Hay who comes in for her first start. Three up front will be Laurie Gardner, Barry Lyle and Tegan McCann. Today's officiating team, match referee is Gary McLean, assistant referee of Donny McKinnon and Sam Jackson and the Aki's mascots today provided by Holy Town Colts Football Club. So the game's about to be started on a lovely autumn day here in Hamilton, ready to go. So both teams lining up with a 4-3-3 formation. And the referee today about to get the game underway. So Hamilton start off, Amy Anderson plays the ball forward. There's a challenge in the air, but that's won by Stirling University. Vary Lyle strongly there. Ball breaks free to the midfield area. Beth Mackay plays it up to Nick Puller, which she finds on Jade Gallen. In possession of the ball, has a first easy effort early on in the first minute. And Elaine Fleming manages to get behind that two hands comfortable save. Nice move by Jade Gallen. Lauren Gallen plays it to her twin sister Jade in the middle of the park and then gets it back. Hamilton pressing quite high, Jenny Godfrey, she'll go across the back four, that's Demi Falconer's ball. Emma Lyons comes in there just over the ball in that tackle. That means the ball can go wide left and it has done to Beth Mackay, picks it up on the left hand side. Cody Hay comes inside but Beth Mackay then plays a cross field ball to Rachel Donaldson. She's been playing very well for the last couple of weeks, making a big impact on the game. But that goes back to Demi Falconer. She plays it into the middle. Easy one for Amy Anderson to play wide. There's a chance here for Cody Hay. She's got position and space and somebody on her outside. She decides to take on the captain and plays a great ball to Tegan McCann. There's two players in for Hamilton. Ball comes across the box. Lisa Sutherland takes no chances and plays the ball wide for a Hamilton corner. Good piece of play there. So Hamilton about to take the corner kick. Movement in and around the box. It's a low one though. That should be cleared at the near post and it is done. That's allowed Stirling University to clear it wide. Rachel Donaldson's up front. She's a chance to collect the ball and play into the middle area. Nicole Puller trying to collect that ball. There's three Hamilton players back though. So the ball goes wide right to Rachel Donaldson. Her first touch is one right into the box. It's a tremendous move there by Stirling University. It's a great ball in by Rachel Donaldson. Nicole Puller's first touch was semi-bumbled, not quite on the money. Elaine Fleming well placed to collect that ball. So good movement by Stirling University. Great first ball in. So Megan Quinn now throws it up the line. That's one for... Hamilton players to move in. Emma Lyons has the ball. She throws her foot at it. And it just goes over the bar. Ambitious attempt there by the Hamilton midfielder. Had a fraction of a second to bring it down, but then had to get the foot through the ball as she was closed down. Manages to get a shot goalward. So Ashley McDonald plays it in. Corey Hay reads the ball. Good challenge by Barry Lyle, but then it's an excellent attempt on goal by Riley for Stirling University. So uh, sad to see Vary Lyle depart the scene having scored the winner against Aberdeen last week but off she goes. That gives Laura Gallen a chance to come into the midfield area. So she's been playing regularly so that should be a fairly straightforward switch for Gary Doctor in the selection ranks there and uh, Amy Anderson once again reads it beautifully. Sends a ball forward, but there's plenty of pace there, but the ball's short. Tegan McCann could make it. There's a collision there by the goalkeeper and Tegan McCann. 
The ball breaks kindly for Stirling University. We play up the left-hand side. First touch by Kirsten Riley is a little bit heavy. Then Lauren Gallen wins the ball, plays it forward. Anderson in there again, manages to dispossess Buller. And that looks like Jade Gallen is on the run with the ball. She's going to try and play it through, but luckily Hamilton have plenty of players back. Rachel Donaldson just can't quite keep that one. So it was an interesting movement there where Tegan McCann showed great bravery. Keeper came out and challenged. The ball broke free. Could have broken to a Hamilton player. Stirling University pick up the pieces though. Still nothing each. So McDonald throws it in. Amy Lindsay and Nick Puller fighting for the ball. Danny Connolly clears. Tegan McCann gets it off her chest. Comes inside. Plays to Emma Lyons. She's got time and space to open things up. Player coming now. Laura Gallen and Emma Lyons gets it back. She plays it inside to Tegan McCann. First touch just not quite inside. Lauren Gallen. Amy Anderson gives it to Cody Hay. Her first touch lets her down though. Jade Lindsay behind. She'll be looking to keep the possession of the ball, which she has done. Cody Hay looks to make amends. She goes inside Beth Patterson and then plays outside to Emma Lyons. She's a chance to make a movement into the box. Great cross chance here. Laura Gallen shoots. Gathered at the second attempt by Chloe Logan. Tremendous football by Hamilton. Well defended by Stirling University. Best chance of the game for Hamilton. One touch football inside the box. Good chance to shoot at goal. Nice football. So Jade Lindsay plays in. Laura Gallen gives it back. Again, the first touch is short. But well read by Amy Lindsay. Tries to find Emma Lyons, just evades, evades her. Nicole Puller's flick head goes on. And then the ball's played forward on the right-hand side. Tegan McCann gives chase. A first touch beautifully over a chance. A chance and goal just past the right-hand side post there. So first touch there by Tegan McCann. Beautifully over the Stirling University captain. Then had a chance to perhaps... A, Fans to goal, but decided the snapshot. As the referee blows his whistle for the end of the first half. So the ball comes in. Jade Gallen. And that's one where Laura Gallen can get her body, but just forced out of it by Jade Gallen. Shows great body strength there. First pass, not bad. Rebecca Arbrook picks it up, tries to bring the ball into box. It's a dangerous one. And then there's a chance there for Nick Poole, and she opens the scoring. So it was a fine ball in by Rebecca Galbraith. Elaine Fleming had a chance to gather the ball in the air, but didn't quite do it the first occasion. And then the ball broke free. Nick Puller, three yards out, manages to sit right foot that into the back, back of the goal. So Laurie, Laurie Gardner has the ball. She is faced up by Lauren Gallen, manages to get to the byline. She cuts it to the near post. And there's Emma Lyons hits the bar with a tremendous shot and it just rebounds out wide and is eventually cleared by Stirling University. So great footwork there by Laurie Gardner. She got to the byline, crossed it back. Emma Lyons made great contact, lifted it over Chloe Logan, but unfortunately came off the crossbar and broke wide so that Stirling can clear it. So excellent chance there. Good first time effort, but still no go for Hamilton Ackies. So Hamilton playing with good urgency, need to get the ball forward, there it goes, that's a good ball forward, it's a head flick on, Laurie Gardner's there, falls kindly to Jenny Godfrey, she plays it into the middle of the park, Rebecca Galbraith in time and space, she's faced by two, Nicole Puller gets the ball, Galbraith makes a run, she's going to go in and goal, Nicole Puller clearly offside though. So here we go, Danny Connolly comes forward, nobody approaches her so far, now uses the left foot into Jordan McClintock and then she controls a good challenge there, but in strongly by the Stirling player, unfairly according to the referee, beckons Jenny Godfrey to her feet. Referee is not clear with his decision making there or his signalling, everybody in the stadium thought that was a Hamilton free kick. It's given the other way. No complaint from the players though. So Lauren Gallen, captain of Stirling University. She plays the ball upfield. Jill Ingalls beaten in the air there by Rachel Donaldson. That goes all the way through to Elaine Fleming. 
who kicks it up into the air. Katie Morris underneath it as the referee's whistle goes for the end of a match that has seen Stirling University win narrowly against the Hamilton side by one goal to nil. So a spirited showing in the second half. Hamilton competing well in the second half against the team that's currently fourth in the Scottish Women's Premier League. So a disappointing end to a game where Hamilton have put a lot of effort in. But now they at least have a chance of a free week next week to have a good couple of weeks of training. And then they play their next fixture against Rangers on the 29th of October. So I hope you enjoyed the game here from the Super Seal Stadium. So it's goodbye for me, match commentator, John Mathers. <laughs>